hope you guys happy new year we'll come back to another new year so in this year we're gonna start with something uh, refresh so we're gonna I, I'm gonna show you how to do way to do the image resizing or compress is we're gonna using the per build software per view so basically you just click on the image so it will open the software so per view it's come with the Mac so in this step you see this is image and uh, let me show you the size of this image right click and you can see the click on get info you can see the original size of this image is 6.9 megabytes which is uh, moderately pretty large uh, and uh, we can click on the files and uh, there is an option it calls export so basically we can export this image into other file format such as jpeg, PNG, pdf, png so in this case we're gonna use jpeg so in here you can select uh, the quality you want the final image be but uh, it will also depends on your qualities the size of this file will also reduce let's say we, we want uh, between the median so it's not the worst or not the best and yeah and we're gonna export it into its output folders for example one okay save and we can see the the output image or compressed image so click on output find our image which is this one let's refer check its size okay 318 gigabytes with the original image being 6.9 megabytes, which is about 6,897 6, gigabytes. You can see this about uh, more than 20 times difference on the size. But let's see the visual quality of the image or compare with each other. So this one is for the compressed, and this one is the original. So we can see how those two images look different. As you can see, these two image books about identity. You can see those colors. It's about the same, and those those words you can still clearly see them. So I would say it's an, it's really good compress. Like, uh, but the size is reduced like one over twenty. Yeah. So if you guys want uh, some more advanced way, I will show you later. But this is the easiest way you can compress the image. In case if you want to upload your image for files of as evidence, if you're going to use it for something, it often comes with a size limit. For example, the image must be smaller than the 2 megabytes, which is when I upload a thumbnail onto YouTube, the image size is limited to 2 megabytes. So in this case, I have to compress the image. It may lose some qualities, but it's not so obvious, especially if you view it on a smaller device like phone or stuff. So that's how I do it in this. Every time when I upload a YouTube video, it's a thumbnail. The way we can do the image resizing is through a online image resizing software. So we click on, on your web browser and here is something image compress. Click on it. I can see here it says you have to select image first. So you can find different types of image resizer just by type image resizer online and you will find those softwares. As you can see here, there are tons of image resizer and this one is uh, which, uh, the one I'm using. So in here you can select the image first. So this in this case we're gonna use the second image. So it will be in Jumbo 2. So you can see this image is a PNG image and its size is 9.1 megabytes. It's even larger than the last one, which is 6.9 megabytes. So let's see what happened after we compress it. Compress image. So it first have to upload in the image to their servers so they can process in the process of the compression and they will send the original image and they can download it 
so it's compressing. It often takes few seconds. So yeah, already just few seconds. Yeah, it's finished, and you can see the new size is about 1.82 megabytes. Means 79% of the size is reduced. It reduced by 79%. So, and then we just can click download this button, and you can see the new image is here. It takes some while to download. So let's just go to our folders, and we can see in download sections. Yeah, it's finished. And uh, let's check out the size of this image. This one, which is one we download. Here. As you guys can see, the size is about 2.1 megabytes, or it's different. But here it is 1.9, and here it is 2.1. But still, it's getting really smaller compared to the original size, which is 9.1 megabytes. The last way we're gonna I can introduce to you guys is using a image resizer software, which is more on an advanced way. As you can see, if you went to the App Store, most of the software is you have to pay for it. Like this one is about eight point nine nine dollars, and this one is six six point nine nine. So here I got a free software which you can use in for compressed image. You can search it. It's called uh, Beige, uh, Beige Inventory Sizer Lead. So we can search in here. Yeah, you can see the first one. So this is a free software, but you can also use it to resize uh, the photos. So this one is more advanced. So I will show you how to do it step by step. So first, we can empty match. So in this case, I will use both example one and example two. Set up in example one. Oh no. And, uh, and another image. Went to output. In some, oh no. We need our original image, which is this one. So in example one is 6.9 megabytes, and in example two is 2.1 megabytes. So we have the output here. So first thing we have to choose the output folder. So let me just create a folder. And uh, we can call it uh, output two. And then we can select all folders, which is in desktop. Okay. So the next step we're gonna do is we're gonna click on one of the image and uh, we can we need to choose the width and height. In this case, I won't keep it same, so I will choose the pixels 3358 and 100. And you can choose the resolutions, which is lower resolution means that the image is gonna have lower size. So, original is 144, so we're gonna choose 72 in this case and see what's gonna happen. Not this one. Yeah, we click it and output match. So this will be the first one we're gonna output. We can also click this one. Okay. Okay. So let's just uh, do an output one by one first. So we can click beach size. And now it should be in your folders. So okay, so it means when you click the output match, all of those two match will get in uh in the size. So let's see. So the first one it's reduced to 1.2 megabytes. We have original size is 6.9 megabytes. And secondly match it's reduced to 5.3 megabytes, which original is 9.1 megabytes. So you can see the size is, for first one, it's decreased about 80%, lost about 80% of the original size. Uh, second one is about half of the original size. You can see by using image 
resizer you can reduce the size of your image which you can store more image if you want to store it on your phones or on your hard drives or if you when you upload your image onto a cloud drive you want to save as much space as possible which you can use some low resolution image but it still give you a pretty good output Okay, so thank you guys for watching this video if you can come to this point. So basically that's all of the base you can do on a Mac computer to compress the image. And uh, for in the future I will also do it for other devices like if you are using an iPhone or you are using Android phones. Because it's not everyone has a computer and can do resizing like this. So yeah, and uh, I do have some plans for this uh, new years but yeah i will make more video one by one and you guys can see those new videos coming out and uh, maybe i will make some different stuff this year but i hope you guys enjoy these videos and uh, even my old videos you can still come back and check anytime so thank you guys for watching this video see you then